Action for Breakthroughs is all about helping people with leadership development, leadership effectiveness, and career success. What I focus on is helping leaders go to the next level to create the kind of results that they want. And uh, the way that happens really is to, in today's challenges, which are unprecedented in many ways, it's really about helping leaders become what I call aware and awake, aware and awake to what's so, about what's really going on for them, and really tapping into their unique wisdom and accessing um, a new plateau of opportunity for solving their problems, like helping them tap into a place of um, learning and understanding that they don't normally tap into because they're so distracted by circumstances and demands outside of themselves and the temptation to move into a place that they're reacting and making big decisions that are not necessarily grounded in what's necessarily best for the organization, what's best for themselves, what's best for the people who work for them. So it's really about helping leaders um, access that place through a series of powerful inquiries. And I think one of the things that really makes me unique, there's many coaches out there, many great coaches out there, but I think one of the things that I've gotten feedback around a lot that has me unique is that I have a extensive training in psychology, a, a doctorate in clinical psychology, uh, gave that up over 10 years ago, but went into coaching. But because of that strong foundation of what makes people tick, it really gives me an opportunity to um, understand like what might be the most powerful core questions to be asking to help them get to the root, to the core of the challenges they're facing. So asking unique, powerful questions that has them discover unique and new answers to their current challenges. How do you work with organizations? How do you work with a team, for example? Yeah, well, I do do some team coaching, um, and really the way I work with organizations is through their leaders. So my primary focus is executive leaders, um, senior managers and executive leaders. And it really is, I mean, today, um, I think there's an unprecedented level of um, violation of public trust, given what's happened with the economy, banking leaders, even our U.S. presidents. You know, I think in no time in my lifetime has there been a bigger questioning about the, the level of trust in our leaders. And I think what people are really searching for is a place of integrity, honesty, um, wisdom from leaders. And, and that's one of the things that is my beacon for when I coach leaders, is how do you tap into that powerful place where you, you are actually coming from your own integrity? Um, I like to call it your unique thumbprint in the world. Like what has you be the unique, powerful leader you can be? Live into your potential to serve people. I think today on the heels of what's been going on, there's been so much um, what I call egoistic choices. Choices that are about serving me as the leader and not serving the people that they declare that they're there to serve. So one of the things that I really focus on with leaders is not only having them be really successful, because of course that's critical and vital, but really making sure when they're in the throes of the challenges they're facing, that they really tap into what's the the choice of integrity, of, of honesty, of really serving my organization, what's best for my organization, what's best for the people that are working for me, that's going to really serve all of us. I think we've moved away from that place of where it's me versus them. That no longer is, a, is the type of scenario that really serves people. It really is a place of what's the we? What's the we that serves all of us? There is an opportunity for we. Yeah, no, I, think, I think it's never been a more important time than now for that, exactly those choices, is to really understand, and I like to say this too, is there's a lot of uh, pessimism, and, and justifiably so, in, in the career marketplace today. But I also like to share that it's also never been a better time for leaders or organizations to create what I call their dream team. There's a lot of amazing talent out there in the world right now that's, that's looking for the opportunity to go to the next level. And I think companies and organizations with the foresight to recognize these are tough times, but it is going to come to a close. Everything cycles. So three, five, I don't know, I can't predict the future, but three, five, six, seven years from now, it's going to be an upturn. There's going to be a huge wave of success happening again. So I always say now is the time for those organizations that have the foresight to do it. Go out there and hire your dream team. Bring, bring on all those amazing leaders that are looking for opportunities, even though it may be challenging now, but get them on board and get them skilled and set up so that when things come back and we do start taking off again, they're ready to go because other companies are going to realize, oh, now it's safe to bring on people, and at that point it's too late. You've lost your edge in the marketplace. What's it like to work with Al Spicer on your team? 
for me, my, if I had to sum it up in two words, it would be uh, rigor and compassion. As a coach, whether I'm coaching teams or individuals, for me it's rigor and compassion. Being really rigorous, what I call calling people forth to live into their greatness, live into possibility, tap into that, again, unique thumbprint that has them stand out unlike anybody else. And that's through that coaching process, helping them tap into that wisdom through rigorous questioning, but doing it in a rigorous way, not tolerating or, or accepting mediocrity of themselves. My job as a coach is to have them be their best. And it's not always fun and easy. You know, sometimes people don't like me because I'm, I'm pushing and challenging them. But that's what has you go to the next level. And that's why I'm not the coach for everybody. The, coach, the people who work for me are the people that are really committed to their greatness. Not good or good enough or pretty good, but excellent. Want to live into their potential. And then compassion. It's a rigorous path. You know, if you really want to be your best, if you really want to go to that next level, you know, it is a challenging path. I have such admiration and respect for anybody who chooses coaching because it's actually the more challenging path to follow. You know, it's putting yourself under a microscope, really challenging some of the assumptions and beliefs and attitudes you hold, some of which have served you very well, of course, but some of which are actually undermining the types of uh, success that you want to have, not only for yourself, but maybe your family or, you know, the teams that you work with. So um, I'm compassionate with that, that it is a challenging path, and I'm rigorous with people really living into their potential.